Hey creator and welcome back to a new video and in this video I'm gonna show you 17 slipovers to knit this spring so let's take a look First let me just welcome you here so welcome if you're new here welcome back if you've been a regular viewer I appreciate you all so so much for being here um, Let me quickly introduce myself I am Femme I'm the face behind the mindful creators I am a yarn hire as you can see I am also have a I also have a community group and I uh, like to make videos here on YouTube so that is what we're doing today one of the videos that are my favorite videos to make uh, which I've been doing since the beginning of this channel are pattern roundups so today we have another pattern roundup video so I'm gonna scooch over a little bit to the side here I have my laptop below so if I look down you know why um, but yeah, this video is slipover. So I don't have any slipovers in my closet. I do want to have one or two or maybe three. Who knows? I actually have some yarn and I'm just not sure yet what I want to make. So I was looking through Reverie and was like, let me just share this with you. So I looked a little bit more through Reverie. That is, by the way, the place I always look for these patterns because it's the most... Um, it's, it's, there are so many on there, so it's easy to find a lot of patterns from a lot of different designers. Also, what I also find really important in these videos, the pattern roundups, is that uh, all the patterns that I show are size inclusive. So in this case, there are two. Size inclusive uh, for me means at least nine sizes or an eight size uh, range that has like the range of a nine size range. I always try to look to have, um, yeah, the smallest bust is always a little different in patterns, but yeah, that changes uh, up to like a 150 ish centimeters, which I think is 62 inches, but I'm not 100% sure uh, because I use the metric system. But yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. So let's take a look. I don't have anything knitted on. I would love to have a slipover over this. So maybe I will find one that I like. If you like these kinds of videos, by the way, I would love for you to like this video and follow me here if you want. It's free. It's fun. So why not? But let's get into the video. We're going to start with pattern number one and pattern number one is kind of like a dupe for another pattern uh, however this one is size inclusive or just has more than one size you might already can guess what it is uh this is the primrose slipover by along avec anna and it reminds me a lot of um the amy slipover and i think also the hilla slipover but i'm not sure if that's the right name uh, those are really beautiful slipovers from sunday's gone however those are really hard to get um if you know they are from pattern booklets super hard to get they are only of one size i think one of them maybe the amy or the other one is one size uh when i saw this one i didn't even know it existed i was like this is perfect because this is a look that i really love um it is size inclusive it is easy to get and uh, yeah, I thought we just start off with this one. I think it's really beautiful. As you can see here, it has a bit of a higher neck uh, and it has ties on the side, which I think is really unique, really cute also. I love that they show different colors because the pink feels very like ballerina-esque almost. And then the green is, I love, I love good green, as you can see, is a little bit more, um, I don't know, it's not like less feminine i think it's still very feminine i love it it's just i love this the the different colors what the different colors do for the garment um size wise this has a size range from 80 centimeters bust to 160 this is the finished bust and they recommend a 5 to 10 centimeters of positive each piece which is which is like sorry which is a two to four inch of positive ease I'm going to be putting up the all the sizes also in the screen. You can see the pictures of the patterns in the screen as you can see her on the side and I see them below. That's again why I'm looking down sometimes. I think it is knitted uh, top down. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't necessarily see it. Oh wait, no, it's made up uh, of a panel on the front and then another one on the back. Um, which closes under the arm. So I think you just knit those panels separately, which makes sense, of course, because this one doesn't join in the round. And uh, I do think it's top down, but I can't really see it here, but I think for me, working with panels, it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, and I think it's really beautiful. This one is definitely on my to knit list. It is a DK weight uh, garment, which is nice for the springtime, I think. Depending on where you live, of course, you need it maybe something a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler. Uh, I think for spring here in the Netherlands, where I live, this would be perfect. Our second pattern in this list is the Rockhound Vest by Wool and Pine. And I think this one is super fun too and so different from the other one. So for this list, I really looked into very different 
patterns but there are some very similar in here too but they each have their own thing and this is again something that is pretty unique uh, with the detail on the front i think it's really really beautiful so this pattern uh, this vest this slipover is made made top down uh, seamlessly also and it has this really beautiful uh, I think there are cables, cable detailing on the front. I'm pretty sure they are real cables and not faux cables. I haven't seen that yet in the pattern. What I also like about this one, you can see it in the pictures here, is that you could wear it without something underneath. Um, so when it gets really a lot warmer for me, that probably would only be like late spring, summer here. Um, but you can also wear it with a t-shirt and I think with a long sleeve, it would be really cute too. So I think it's pretty versatile. I love the color that they made it in. I think it looks really, really good. And then size-wise, it goes from... Where is the sizing here? It goes from an 86 centimeter bust to a 178 centimeter bust, which I think is a pretty good size range, which is an inches, a 34 inch bust to a 70 inch bust. And it recommends to have a four to eight inch of positive ease, which is, uh, they don't say that in centimeters, I think. Well, four, four inches is like 10 centimeters, so 10 to 20 centimeters of positive ease, probably. I think this one is really beautiful. Um, it is a fingering weight garment, so keep that in mind. It's probably takes a little bit more time to knit since you knitted a three and a half millimeter, but it's probably worth it. I think it's very versatile. It would be beautiful with the wide blouse underneath, I think too. Um, with the V-neck, I think that would fit it really nicely. So definitely something to put on your list. Our next pattern is the Olympia Vest by Unit Toronto. And I also see the name Claudia Quintanilla in here. It is a beautiful, classic vest, I think, slipover. I, I really love this look. That's why I definitely wanted to put it in here. It has a bit of a higher kind of turtleneck. However, the pattern states that you can change the neck for something else that you like. For personally me, I love the look of a high neck, but uh, I don't think it suits me that well. So I will probably make it smaller. However, I, I do love the look of this one. The pattern has a split hem, which is also nice to see here. I think it looks really beautiful the way they styled it with the blouse underneath, or maybe even without a blouse underneath, you could also pair it with a t-shirt, with a dress they say, which I think could be really beautiful too. Make it a little bit more crop maybe if you want to do it with a dress. That's how I would like to wear it. Um, a beautiful one. Sizing wise, it goes from 84 and a half centimeters to 155 centimeters, which is an inches 33 and a quarter inch to 61 inches. Beautiful. Um, I think it's already my favorites. If you can see, you can see in this video, I have a lot of things that I really love in here. So I hope you liked it too. Maybe we share a bit of the same taste in style. Also good to know, I forgot to say it in the beginning, but the patterns are all linked below um, in, in, in the description. So you can find them all there. Another pattern that really stood out to me is the Haley Slipover by Iris H. I think it is really fun. Uh, she calls it a staple. I wouldn't necessarily uh, call it a staple for my style. Of course, that's all subjective. But I think it is a really special and interesting piece. As you can see here, it is fully cabled. Uh, it is worked top down. It has some um, shaping in the back. Some German short rows, which is really nice, I think, for just the general good shaping. Then you work it around um, and you add a folded hem to the collar. I think it is gorgeous. It is super interesting to look at. It definitely will spice up your outfit a little bit. Um, she paired it with a white blouse. I feel like a lot of people here do it, but I think that definitely makes it more of a staple to pair it that way. Of course, you can pair it any way you like. That's, that also doesn't matter. For sizing, it goes from a 76 centimeter bust to a 157 centimeter bust, which is an inch, a 30 inch bust to a 62 inch bust, which is a nice one, I think. I think these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sizes, yeah. I haven't uh, noted how many sizes most of them are, but you can see them up top, of course. I think it's beautiful. Um, it is interesting. So if you are a confident, um, well, I, I always say uh, when I started knitting, I even tried patterns that weren't really beginner friendly. But if you're a confident beginner, try this out. If you love cables, this one will be perfect for you. Definitely one to add to your closet. The next pattern that I have for you is the Heli by Tilia Rejo. And it was published in Lane Magazine issue 18. I think this one is again one of those really classic and elegant uh, staple pieces. For me, this is really a staple piece. It really has some interest with the texture. As you can see here, it is made in stockinette. And I think it is also a moss stitch, yeah. Um, to the side, you have some moss stitch. Down the side, I mean. And also on the shoulder here. 
I really love the look of it. Um, the yarn that they use, I don't know exactly what kind of yarn it is. I see they hold a fingering and a mohair together. It just looks really soft and yeah, I don't want to say fluffy, but I think you know what I mean. It just looks really nice. So I really, really love the look of it. Uh, sizing wise, it has nine sizes going from a 84 centimeter to a 158 centimeter bust, which is a 33 and a half inch to a 36, no, 63 <laughs> and a quarter inch bust. I'm looking if it says something about how it is shaped, but I think it is top down. I'm pretty sure it looks, it looks like it's worked top down. And um, as I said, it is a fingering plus lace held together, which normally would make a DK, but I don't say it. And the needle size is three millimeters. So I think they will count it as a fingering weight garment. Um, do with that information what you want. The next slip over that I have for you is quite a bit different. It is called the Happy Place Fast by Vera Valimaki. I think it is a really fun one also. You can see it here, it is pretty long. It has a very deep split hem and it almost, I don't want to say a dress, but if you would knit it in the round, still it could be a dress. It has this beautiful texture, as you can see here. I was looking to see what the texture is, but it don't really say, but I'm pretty sure it's a broken rib. Sometimes I say it, say it like, I'm pretty sure it's this, and then it's something completely else. So um, you have to look into it a little bit more, I think, <laughs> just to be 100% sure. Since I don't see it on the page, it's quickly. It also has a really beautiful high neck collar, a very thick turtleneck. It could be really nice for the little bit colder months, days still. So for example, here, uh, March, well, of course, it's only spring at the end of March, but it could be a little bit more chilly still in April sometimes. You never really know what April does, of course. So, so I think it will be perfect for those times. You could even wear it in winter too with a bigger sweater underneath. So it's pretty versatile, I think, for how special it looks. It's definitely different than what I've seen before. And I think it's definitely the longest that I have in this list. So that is really fun. It's just very different. It must be, you have to be your style, of course, but I think it's it looks really fun. Uh, sizing wise, it has nine sizes going from a can I see there? Yeah, a 100 centimeter bus to a 180 centimeter bus because there's quite some positive ease in this one, 15 to 20 centimeters. And in inches, that is 40 inches to 72 inches and uh, six to eight inches of positive ease. So it's, um, it's definitely more oversized. You have to like it, uh, but I think it's very different and also very fun because of that. This pattern, I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned once in one of the pattern roundup videos, but I still love the look of it. So I just wanted to incorporate it in this one too. It is called the Beneath the Waves Fast by Johanna um, Kunin. I don't have my glasses on, I probably should put that on in a sec. And it is a really beautiful textured piece. Let me read a little bit about the, um, the explanation, or how do you say it, about the information that is on the rubber page because i think they tell very well what is in this pattern so beneath the waves is a versatile transitional layer with three length options that can be worn as a sleeve to stop or over a short or long sleeve shirt or dress that's what i also really like it's pretty versatile going from spring to summer the front and back are covered covered with an ornate panel of lace bobbles and garter stitch waves they say it's simple to knit or more simple to knit than it appears um, with most rounds being either knit or purled. I think it just looks really beautiful, really fun. Um, as you can see here, different colors also do a lot for how the texture shows up. The length does a lot for how the piece looks. I love the more cropped look with the high skirt she has on or like the mid mid length. I personally, I would choose one or two, one of those. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice one. I keep saying M for everything, like it's a really beautiful one, but it is, there are really beautiful patterns. Also, sometimes I like, how do people come up with these things? Because I am not a pattern designer. I have designed some socks and that's it, you know? So um, I think it's really special how people come up with all these ideas and how to figure out. So props to them. Sizing wise, it has nine sizes going from a 34 and a quarter inch to a 66 and a quarter inch bust, which is a 85 and a half centimeters to a 165 and a half centimeter bust. It has about one to 10, no, one, zero to 10 positive ease in centimeters, which is two to four inches. So it has some positive ease, not too much. You can see what you want. So you could also choose no positive ease. 
and uh, I think that's also nice of that one. You can do a lot of different things with this. It is a DK weight garment, knitted on four millimeter needles mostly. I don't know if I've said it for all the garments what it is, because the last one was Aran weight and the one before was also DK, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, just the last one was Aran weight. I sometimes probably won't say it, as I said, the patterns are all down below, so if you want a little bit more information, you can find them there, click on it, and it will bring you to the page of the pattern. Let's get on to our eighth pattern already. It is the Adam Sun by Rui Yamamoto. I hope I say that correctly. Uh, this is again one of those really elegant, soft, classic looking pieces, I think. Um, as you can see, I really love that look. <laughs> it's just something I think is, is pretty timeless, which I really like. Of course, I like, I like a statement piece and something crazy every now and then, but this is something I think personally I would love for a long time, which also is nice because we are making pieces not to wear them for five times we are making pieces to wear them for many many years to come at least i think that's the goal for most of us so i think this would for example be something for me uh, that would last a long time in my closet a uh, funny thing is or a funny thing fun thing is that it looks good without something underneath and with something underneath i wasn't sure if i would like the look with something underneath but in the pictures you see one of the models wear it with uh, i think it is a blouse it has a bit more of an what you could call an office look but i think it would look perfect for everyday life too um it's just really nice. It has a little bit of eyelid detailing on the front. It is worked top down, work, you work the back first and then pick up for the shoulders and uh, eventually work in the round. And let me see, it has 10 sizes. It goes from a 34 and a half inch bust to a 63 inch bust, which is an 87 and a half centimeter bust to a 160 centimeter bust. Um, the ease is pretty it's a pretty wide age a right so oh my god it is a pretty wide range of ease it has or you can give it 5 to 20 centimeters of positive ease i think i like a little bit less positive ease for this one but that is i like that in general so that's just something my style uh yarn wise it is a worsted weight but knit on four millimeter needles so keep that in mind it doesn't look like it is a worsted weight which is interesting um it mostly just looks very soft which i love that look so i think it's beautiful it's gonna go on my favorites list immediately our next pattern is the kreuzberg from rebecca mauser and this is a really fun pattern i think you can see here it is striped it is colorful in the sample they use seven different colors but they already say that you can do whatever however many colors you would like i think i really like the look of the seven colors and otherwise i probably would choose two or three colors um what would you do let me know i think it is looks really fun with all the colors and i love that they took one of the colors and used it for the ribbing uh, to make it a bit more cohesive fun fact about this pattern is that it is inspired by the berlin neighborhood that the designer lives in or lived in i'm not 100 sure and uh, she stumbled on a 1970s um slip over that inspired this knit so it does always fun to see in fashion i think so many things come back from back in the years and the probably the same is going to be happening with things that are popular right now um, Size-wise, it has eight sizes, uh, which is a little different, but I think there's a pretty good size range. So the chest circumference is a 38 and a quarter inch to 68 and a half inch bust, which is in centimeters, 95 and a half centimeters to a 171 centimeters. That is the finished bust, and it says to have a three to five inch uh, positive ease, which is also a seven and a half to 12 and a half centimeter positive ease. So I think that fits uh, for the bus circumference, like the finished bus circumference. It's just, again, one of those things that you can play around with a lot. You can definitely put your own personality in it, well, all the different colors that you can use. So that is really fun. Uh, it is uh, made in worsted weight and it was actually published in 52 weeks of easy knits. So that is fun because you can, you can actually buy it on Bravery um, there or the pattern website so it is available to you easily available i have another really beautiful elegant slip over for you this is the new port by emily louis um I, I mentioned her in quite some videos i think she has great patterns and most of them are size exclusive whoa the sun is changing a little bit here <laughs> i hope you didn't mind that this is a really beautiful classic pun and i will tell you a little bit about the construction for what they tell me here in the informational reverie 
So they say it's a high neck uh, top down seamlessly knitted slip over which you can see here. You start the yoke with a the collar then the back and the front are formed by increases along a shoulder line in short rows. So that's interesting. I think it's fun to work. The back and front are then worked back and forth separately to the bottom of the armholes and then joined in the round. And then you also pick up sleeve stitches uh, for the ribbing. I think it is really interesting knit, uh, uh, engaging to knit if I read it like this. So that is something that's also worth something. I'm definitely a progress knitter. I need to like what I'm knitting because otherwise uh, it will linger for a long time. Sometimes it will just linger for a long time, but if it's not fun to knit, it will probably linger a long, lot longer. So this sounds interesting to me. I think it will be nice and it is a beautiful piece. Um, she made it in this really beautiful soft pink. But you can also make this in a super bright color, like a bright cobalt blue or something, or navy, or many different other colors. I love some blues. If you know me, you know that I love blue and green. Okay, size-wise, it goes from size 0 to 9, which is 10 sizes, and it has a range of 84 centimeters to 158 centimeters. I think that's, yeah, that's the finished bust, which is an inches 33 inches to 62 and a quarter inch bust. I don't quickly you can see what the ease is that you oh yeah here you see it two and a quarter inch to four and a three quarter inch which is six six to twelve centimeters of positive ease um so you can play around a little bit with how much ease you want it is a sport weight which is a little different but they use a fingering plus lace held together so it's probably a little bit of a thinner fingering than i guess um again a beautiful staple very wearable very easy to um, combined with other things in your closet, I think. Our next one is a really fun one again. This is the Josephine Vest by Jamie Crates. She is an Australian designer and I think she intended this to be more of a summer slipover. But I think you can definitely layer it really nicely, but it is nice that you can carry down into summer. It is made in an alpaca yarn, Surrey alpaca, so I do think it could be a little bit warm. But the airiness of the top probably makes it more wearable for the warmer months. It has this really beautiful, I think it is a lace design, I don't think, yeah, it's a lace design on the front, I want to say cables, but it isn't, it's really, really nice, it's interesting, I love the color that she made it in, and you can see also a lot of from the different colors from the testers, I should be showing you a few different testers right now, um, I even see someone who didn't make it in uh, a Surrey, so that's also possible, just a fingering weight yarn, but the Surrey does look really cute and airy and oh i love the version the corally pink version with the white i just saying this to myself so i know which video i need to put in or which picture i need to put in while editing i love the look of it like that so that's also really fun styling wise um again it's just really cute and fun and you can make it as colorful as you want of course Size-wise, it goes from an extra small to 5XL, so nine sizes. Extra small is uh, to fit a bust of 72, no, 71 to 76 centimeters. Um, and the 5XL is to fit a bust of 152 to 158 centimeters, which is, let me go back again, from a 28 to 30 inch bust to a 60 to 62 inch bust. And I think that's a really good size range. So props to her. I really love the look of it. It's just cute and it makes me think of summer and i can't wait for warmer days not not even summer just give me 20 degrees and i'm so happy with the sun out this will be nice to wear then the next slip over that i have for you is really fun texture and color wise so this is the harvey wallbanger vest by thea coleman it is worked bottom up which is a little different from the others that we've seen i think uh, most of them if not all are top down, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it is a little bit different to work. I find it a little bit more hard, to be honest, to know how long it should be. Um, but yeah, if you are good at it, definitely try this one. It has some beautiful texture, as you can see here. I'm pretty sure it's some, um, I think, knit sprills and eyelets. Um, I think that's the way it's worked. For color, she used three different colors. And she also said it's just a perfect way to use up some scraps. And I think it's definitely going to be perfect for it. If you have some same weight yarn, of course. It is worked in a worsted weight yarn. So that's good to know. Yeah, I really love the look of it. It's a little bit... Um, it, it feels modern, but it also feels 70s somehow. That might also be the color choice that she, cho that she chose. 
but um, I really love the look of it. It has 10 sizes if I'm correct and it goes from a 37 inch bust to a 69 inch bust which is in centimeters 94 centimeters to 165 and a quarter centimeters. So a uh, pretty good range I think for the ease. Yeah here it is uh, suggest a 3 inch ease which is 7.75 centimeter uh, positive ease. So you can look on which size fits best for you like that. Yeah, I think it's really nice. She also shows a ton of her swatches, um, which I probably am showing you right now. So you can see some different color combinations. And I love the white with the... She even uses more colors there. She uses five different colors in total. So the white background with the... Yeah, what kind of colors is it? Like a copper, a pink, a purple, and a deep blue slash purple. I really love that combination. So you can definitely play around with colors in this pattern. The next pattern that I have for you is a really interesting one texture wise too. This is the Winterberry Slipover by Joan Hall. And as you can see here, it looks really, really intricate and fun. Um, intricate in a way that I don't think it is the hardest to work, but it's just, just really interesting to work. So you can see here it has cables and bobbles and it just feels very festive to me, but not necessarily in a Christmas kind of way. So Christmas. Christmas kind of way, um, but just in festive in general. So I think that's really fun about it. It's definitely a bit more of a special piece, it looks like, um, which I, I really like the look of it. It's, it's very different. It's not something I would necessarily wear, I think, but I think it will be really fun to make. It was first published in her book, 15 Stunning Patterns for Pullovers, Cardigans, Tank Tees and More, but you can also find it on Reverie here, as all of these patterns are. So uh, sizing wise, it has 10 sizes. Do I say the correct? Yeah, 10 sizes. Going from a 32 and a half inch to 68 and a quarter inch bust, which is in centimeters, 82 and a half centimeters to 173 and a half centimeters. It is worked top down, I want to say, but that's not true. It works flat in pieces actually. And uh, it's worked in a DK weight yarn. However, no, that's not true what I say. I thought I saw DK weight here. She does use a DK weight with a lace, but in the information on top it says DK... Yeah, okay, DK and lace making me bulky. I'm sorry, I was just not looking right. It's a bulky weight yarn in total for a DK and a lace together. We're getting there. It's going to get there. <laughs> I think it's really beautiful again. And um, the texture is really interesting. It's probably going to be fun to work. Our next pattern is a bit more of a staple, but with a twist. This is the Any Day Vest by Lily Kate Friends. And uh, it, it's just really fun again. It has some really nice detailing. As you can see here, it is a V-neck. It has almost like a braid down the bottom. Um, or down the front, I mean. And the shoulders I really like. Um, I know that Lily really loves the look of a good shoulder or something. I'm working on a pattern of her and or like I'm knitting a pattern of her and the shoulders again are just really well thought out. And again here you can see that too. Um, so of course it ends at the shoulder but you can see it as a, it's almost like like with those ruffled blouses. Um, it just has something a little extra. I'm pretty sure it is. Let me see here. Uh, construction. Yes, yeah, worked inside out, seamlessly from the bottom up. So I think it's just stockinette. It's getting a little dark. Stockinette, but then you turn it inside out. I'm pretty sure that's what she meant, which is also fun to work then because I, for example, don't love like reverse stockinette or only purling. It's not really what I enjoy doing, but now you do get the look of that. And it looks different than a standard vest. But I think it's still going to be pretty wearable. It is made in bulky weight on 7mm yield, so it will be a quick knit, which is also fun sometimes. And uh, bust circumference, it goes from a 28 to 30 inch bust, which is uh, here. Oh, this is the finished bust. A 31.5 inch finished bust to a 71.5 inch, which is in centimeters, 80 centimeters to 181 centimeter bust, which is a pretty good range, I would say. So definitely something to put on your list. The next pattern that I have for you is a bit more fun. Um, just just a good a good slip over with a little bit of a twist. This is the window pane vest by Diana Lum. And as you can see here, it has this really beautiful, almost what you call it, checkered uh, motif. It is worked bottom up again. I have I, I said there aren't many bottom ups in the first part, but I feel like now we have a lot of button up um, slip overs. 
And as you can see here, I don't know if you're able to see it in the pictures, but uh, the horizontal, no, the vertical stripes are made with duplicate stitch. So those are put on later. And I think the horizontal stripes, I'm pretty sure I just did it while you're knitting the piece. So uh, that makes it also interesting. I have duplicate stitch before, but never really on a full garment. So that could be fun to try out. Um, for the rest, yeah, I love the look of it. I think it's fun again, but still uh, almost like a classic piece too. I think uh, checkers and those blocks have been in style for many, many years. And again, um, I don't think you need to wear stuff that is in style. I also just wear what I like the look of, but of course we are getting a little bit influenced with the world around us, even if we don't want to. But this is, I don't know, if this is needs to be your style too, in general. I like the look of it. I think you can do a lot with color. So maybe like a dark pink with like red stripes or white stripes. That could be fun too. Um, you could even go full crazy with like uh, blue. And, and uh, I have it here, for example, those blues. And that kind of yellow. Here we go. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't see it anymore. <laughs> there we go. Like an ochre with that blue. That's really a good combination color wise. So you're gonna get do a lot with that. Uh, sizing wise, it has nine sizes with a finished bust of 90, no, 29 and three quarter inch to 64 inch, which is in centimeters, 75 and a half centimeters to 162 and a half centimeters. It is worked on Aran weight on six millimeter needles. So again, a bit of a quicker knit, uh, which is fun sometimes, definitely in warmer months. And this one is also one that you probably could wear in a warmer month, just on its own, just pop a blouse underneath and it's perfect for spring too. I don't see it here in the pictures, any of those, um, how do you say that? That they put it with the blouse, but I think it will be beautiful with the blouse too. So that is a fun one. Our second to last pattern is the bee vest by Pop Vergara. And it almost looks like it's color work, but it's actually beadwork worked into the vest. And I don't know how she did it, um, but I think this is so fun and so different. And it's really a statement, but the way she made it, I think it's also very wearable. I love a little bit of a different color work kind of piece. And as I said, I thought it was color work in the beginning almost. Uh, but when you look a little closer, you can see it's not color work. It's just so different, so fun. Uh, it is worked flat actually, which I can imagine is easier with the uh, with the beads. Um, does she say something more about the beading? I don't. Oh yeah, here she tells what kind of beads she used, what color beads she used. Um, so you can read a bit more about that in the pattern. For the rest, yarn wise, it's sport weight yarn. She used an alpaca mulberry and it's knitted on five and a half millimeter needles. It has nine sizes going from, where are we? Here we are, 90 centimeters to 169 centimeters, which is an e in inches, it is 36 inch to 76, 67 and a half inch. Oh my God, after you've read so many of these numbers, you're gonna mess them up a little bit, but you got it here. Uh, positive ease wise, she says 20 centimeters or 10 inches. Uh, personally, I like a little less, but that's just personal, of course. I think this one is so fun and so different. I almost looked over it, uh, but eventually I did I did see it. And yeah, I think this is definitely a showstopper, but it's a subtle showstopper if you get what I mean. It's still, I think it's still very wearable. So I wanted to definitely show that one to you. And our last pattern is not necessarily a human pattern or not even at all actually, but I saw this one and I just had to put it in there. So this is the Lucy dog slip over from Morgan Buffons. Yeah, the, the tackle, the dachshund on the front, the sausage dog. If you know me, you know I love, love dogs and I love sausage dogs in general, as you can see here. So um, I thought it was just fun. I just wanted to put it in here just to close this one off with. We are planning on getting a dog this year, so maybe this is one that I will be making. I'm not sure yet. We are getting a Dachshund uh, eventually. And uh, they need a little bit of an extra layer when it's a little cold still. So who knows, I might make this one. It has a few sizes actually. It goes from extra, extra small to a 1XL. So I think that's pretty good for a dog pattern actually. Um, it has some circumferences here, so you can look into it if you have a dog and you wanna make something. I think you could even make this for a cat, to be honest. It is worked in super bulky yarn, so it's gonna be, I think this is gonna be like an evening knit and on nine millimeter needles. So you for sure can make this 
probably can make this in the evening maybe the the largest size maybe not but i think you, you i think you could so yeah it's it's just cute and I just wanted to add in there. I think those patterns for, for animals are just great stash busters if you have this yarn laying around. So yeah, I just wanted to close the video off with that one. So these were the 18 patterns, 18 slipovers to make this springtime or summer, whenever you want, whenever you're watching this. I think it's gonna be great for spring. If you're on the other side of the world and fall is coming, I think these are great for fall too, actually. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of them. If you have something now that you would like to make, let me know. If you already have made one of these or you have any extra recommendations, I think it's always fun to see those in the comments for everyone else too, just to read through them and get some more inspiration even. So yeah, I hope you liked it. If you like this video, please like it below because it really means a lot to me and it also helps me spread this video out to others so we can grow our community and inspire each other even more. And uh, if you like these videos in general, Again, just follow me here. As I said, it's free, it's fun, so why not? So I'll see you in the next one, and I want to wish you the best day, night, morning, or whatever time it is for you, um, and have a good time. Bye, creator!